Let's get going. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Trish and Samora. We are so excited having you here. Let me know where you are joining us from. Just comment down below. We love you. Kisses from our end. So today, I want to take us through some few things. First, on notification. When we talk of notification, what it is, and then where we could notify our documents in Ghana. So now I'm narrowing my search to Ghana, but in future, I will look at other countries and how you could get your document to be notified. I got someone from South Africa and I'll respond to him later. But today I am focusing on notification in Ghana and then some scholarships available for master program, even bachelor program. So you can share the link to other people to join us. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment and then let's see how best we can help each other. We believe that we all need to win as a team. So that's why I'm doing this. I'm not charging anybody. It's free. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Nancy, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. So when you are applying for a PhD program, master program, or a bachelor program in the Czech Republic, there are some basic things you need. Your transcripts, your certificates, you need to have a CV. And then some of the offers, they request that you write a motivation letter. And then some other programs who they expect you to provide a proof of English proficiency. They want to be sure that you had your education at least for the past two to three years in English. So if you can provide a document that attests to that, you are good to go. So these are the basic documents you need in addition to your passport. So if you don't have a passport yet, please do get one. And if you want to do the postgraduate bachelor or master program this year, you should remember that application deadline is 30th of April. Most of the program, the application deadline is 30th of April. Um, so you should check the department and the program you are interested in. Some people have their deadline as early as 28th February. Some people to have theirs as late as May. So you should find out from the study program you are interested in in order to know the specific deadline available. So when we talk of notification, um, notification is the expert's conclusion of your foreign document or a legal force for a foreign educational document. So in the Czech Republic, Notification is mandatory for everyone who has not had his or her education in the Czech Republic. So if you are coming from a different country and you want to do your master, bachelor or PhD program in the Czech Republic, they want your document to be notified. They want to be sure that your documents are legal. Yeah, they want to be very sure. So notification is very important today. Czech Republic and it's the process where two governments agree to recognize or acknowledge each other's formal education. So I'm going to take you through the process for notification in Ghana. So in Ghana, yeah, there are two major things I want you to take note of in Ghana. You need to go to the Supreme Court then from there, you go to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. I'll take you through the process in the Supreme Court. And then from there, we go to, through the process at the 
Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Oh, so your document, your original document that you need to nostrify. Thank you, Amanda. The original documents you need to nostrify, you need to nostrify the photocopy of your original documents. So you have to photocopy your certificates, you have to photocopy your transcripts. And I think my own, I, I did photocopy of the certified copies. So the certified copies were done in the University of Ghana. So you make a photocopy of your certified documents and then you take it to the Supreme Court for the notification. So your certificates, photocopy of your certificate transcripts, basically. But for me, because I don't want any wahala, I did photocopy of my passport cover page. I did photocopy of my birth certificate and some other documents I needed. So that whichever one they are interested in, they just pick it and let and leave the rest. But the most basic documents you need are the certificates and then your transcripts. So if you are doing a, a master program, you need just the photocopy, the notified copy of your certificate, undergraduate certificate, and your undergraduate transcript. If you are applying for a PhD, you need a photocopy, the notified copy of your graduate certificate, your master certificate, undergraduate transcript, and your master transcripts. So first of all, when you get to the Supreme Court, before you go, you need to have a declaration form. If you want to have a copy of this declaration form, just send me an email and then I'll send it directly to you. So your declaration letter should be in a particular form, else you cannot start the process. So if you are interested in the declaration letter, just send me an email at timewithpatricia at gmail.com and then I will send a declaration form to you. So in the declaration form, it entails your name. Your name should be on the form. Your house number should be on the form. And then um, your date of birth will be on the form and the attached documents you want to notify. So you have to list all those documents there. You should be sure of the address you will be putting on this declaration form. Some people use address A to fill this form and then they use address B to fill a different form. So you should know which address to work with. If you are working with your church's address, Make sure it is consistent throughout all your application documents. So just take note of it. Don't use a different address for this declaration form. And then when you are filling your other documents, for example, your application form for your visa, then you end up using a different um, address. It makes your information not to be consistent. So make sure that you know which particular address you are working with and be consistent with that particular address. So after giving all the basic information I stated earlier, you sign and then you attach it to your photocopied materials you are sending to the Supreme Court for the notification. And you need four copies of this declaration form I just spoke about. Now, so you photocopy your documents, get a lawyer to sign the photocopied document and stamp it. So you have to get a lawyer who will sign and stamp this or these documents you want to notify. You could get any lawyer to do that for you, any legal lawyer to do it for you. But if you are finding it difficult to get a lawyer, when you go to the Supreme Court around where the Echo Bank is, it's a lawyer who has his office there, who is designated to attend to these kind of things. So the, the lawyer will go through your original documents and then receive or collect the photocopy documents, sign and stamp those documents for you. 
when the lawyer finishes signing these documents for you, the lawyer would charge you, would take a small fee. I also want to tell you that if you are planning to apply to more than two universities or two, three universities, then it means that you need notified copies, three notified copies of your um, documents. Because each school, as you go through the process, they will request, request or require you to post the notified documents to them. So if you are applying to three universities, since you have done three notification for your documents, you submit each one to each university. Yeah. So after the, the, the lawyer has signed and stamped the documents for you, you then get to the yard of the Supreme Court and ask where the nostri cashier is because you need to pay for the services they are about to render for you for the notification. So you go to where the nostri cashier is, take an invoice, and then go to Ecobank, which is close to the Supreme Court, to make the payment. And my length, as of last year, they were taking 50 cities for the, for the notification, so for one bulk of documents. So if you are working with three different um, sets of documents, then it means that you pay 50 by 3. But if you are working with just one, which comprises of your certificate, transcripts, and all that, making just one document, then you just pay 50 cities. So you send the documents you want to notify with the invoice to Ecobank. Then you make the payment of the 50 cities for the notification. Then Ecobank will collect the invoice in addition to your documents. Then they will send it back to the Supreme Court for the process to continue. So you, after doing the payment and submitting your documents at the Ecobank office, you, you come back to the Supreme Court after five working days, not five days, after five working days. So when you get to the Supreme Court, you ask them where, um, where you can collect your notified documents. There's an office designated for that. And then remember, when you were starting the process, you needed to have a declaration form which was submitted to the lawyer for the lawyer to sign your documents for you. So you would also have to keep one of this um, declaration form with you. And then on the day you are going to collect your document after the five working days, you show them your declaration form, which indicates that you actually have your documents with them. They see the name and then check the documents they have if truly what is there is what she presented, they would hand over that document to you. Then you go from there. So that's the first stage. So the first stage is doing all these things at the Supreme Court. Now, the second stage is that after you have taken your documents from the Supreme Court, you go to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration. So the Supreme Court is behind um, Ghana Law School around Makola. Yeah, around Accra Makola area. But the Ministry of Foreign Affairs is around airports. I think airports first. So when you alight at airports, either first or second bus stop, just ask around where the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration is. So you go there and then you submit your documents at the reception telling them that you are here to do certification of your notified documents. That place you would have to pay some money. As of last year, I think it was around 38 Ghana cities. So you pay and then you give them your document. Then they will tell you to come for it after seven working days. So after seven working days, you come back for your documents. So in a nutshell, you are going to spend two weeks in doing all this notification. Yeah. And I also want to tell you that there are some people in Ghana 
that are doing this notification for people and they will charge you at a high price some people take like 500 cities and then they'll promise you that you get your documents in three days but the truth of the matter is that you end up not getting your documents in three days they also go through the normal process so it's advisable that you do this thing yourself so that you are able to teach others who want to go through this process in the future also when you go for your documents, either from the Supreme Court or the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration, check the document to be sure that your name has been spelled rightly, your passport number has been stated correctly, check whether the documents you have presented, they have been listed correctly on the cover sheet. If they have not been properly done, you bring their attention to it. I'm going to show you how a notify documents look like so when you finish the process everything this is how your document is going to look like they will give you the seal from the foreign affairs so foreign affairs they give you this with the seal yeah and then at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, uh, at the Supreme Court, they would give you this one. First of all, you can see that there is um, a lawyer's stamp and then signature here. Yeah, so all your documents, there's a lawyer's stamp signature, lawyer's stamp signature. So all the documents you are presenting, there's lawyer's stamp and signature available and then at the supreme court they they would give you it looks like a signet ring yeah so it's embroidered it's here you can't see it but when you touch it you can feel it in addition to this red seal here when you open the next document so so all your documents have this um, embroidered stamp on it yeah so when you receive your document check through them and be sure that that is it so that's how a notified document looks like notification is very important for czech people or coming to the czech republic even when you are even when you are applying for your visa you have to submit um your police reports your criminal report police criminal report or something like that that once you have to go through some process i will tell you about it in future but that one too you would have to go to the supreme court and then the foreign affairs for this to be done which will be submitted to the czech embassy for processing of your visa so that is that on the notification